Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today me and Malik is out in the woods. While we're out in the woods, come on, honey. I was thinking I will tell you some of the best parts of having a ferret hound for those of you who are interested in getting a ferret hound. One of the absolute best things of having a ferret hound is that they are active. If you are an active person, this is a breed for you. Like right now, he's frustrated because I'm sitting here and we're not walking. That is very frustrating to him. So if you're a person that really likes going outside, activate your dog, stimulate your dog, this is a breed for you. He is so active. He loves to do stuff. Yeah, I know, honey, we are gonna go. Another thing about Feral House is that they are super talkative. They wear their feelings on the outside. You will know how they're doing. If he's in a good mood, you will see it. If he's in a sad mood, you will see it. Like, feral hounds are, are super clear about their feelings. Feral hounds wear their emotions on the outside. That is definitely a personality trait that I rarely see in dogs. So they definitely have a lot of emotion, they show it, they tell you. So you will have a vocal guy or a vocal girl who will wear the heart on their sleeve. You will know when they're sad, you will know when they're happy, you will know when they're frustrated, for sure. Come! Yeah, so you will have a dog that... Fair Hounds is definitely vocal and emotional. You will see their emotions, which is both good and bad. We will continue walking now because he's getting frustrated with me for sitting here talking to you guys. So, we'll see you in a bit. Good boy, let's go. Another thing with fair hounds is they get bored super easily. If I do the same drill with him too many times, he will get bored. They don't like doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, then they get frustrated, they walk away. Uh, he's easily trained when he's eager and when he wants to. But as soon as he gets too many repetitions or he doesn't find the trick fun or he's in a mood to do something else, he gets super easily bored. So remember that your fair hound will get bored at you if you don't change it up if you don't try something new, if you don't have a certain speed to what you're doing. If you're doing stuff too slow, they will get bored with you. Ali, let's go. Good boy. Good boy, honey. Another thing with fair hounds is that they are super loyal. They're independent, they don't always listen to you, they have their own will, but they're definitely super loyal dogs. Like, he come with me when I shower, he is super sad when I leave, uh, he wants to be close to me everywhere. But because he is an independent dog and also sight hound, I don't have him loose until I have 100% recall. He's only 10 months, so I don't have 100% recall, and I'm a firm believer, if you don't have 100% recall, you should not have your dog unleashed. But yeah, fair hounds are super loyal. They love you to death. They're definitely more of a one person dog. Like they love both me and my partner, but he definitely has favorites. And I don't want to brag, but I think it's me. You will definitely have a dog that is like a Velcro on you. That wants to be with you. That wants to stay near you. That wants to be by your side. So that's definitely a plus, but also a super independent dog who decides what they want to do when they want to do it and they need boundaries they need structure otherwise they're just all over the place Malik come go boy okay break another thing that is super important with a fair hound is that they can be quite unsure you have to build their confidence. Like, it doesn't come naturally. They're a bit skittish. They're a bit afraid of stuff. So you as an owner have to expose your dog to a lot of things, socialize them properly, take them with you, train them. And it's gonna be hard. You're gonna be frustrated that they're not like any other dog who just lies around chilling. 
they are unsure about things and they are a bit reactive when they get unsure so just be aware of that that you don't you, you as an owner have to make sure you build their confidence it's your job because they are a little bit unsure as individuals i can't speak for all feral hounds but it's definitely a work you have to put in like i take him with me a lot he's still not the most confident dog but i'm sure in like three years time he will be so don't give up on your fire hound they will build their confidence like he has started to climb more things he's started to be more sure about like his own body now so he goes into water and things like that and that's because i've been exposing him to it so make sure that you build their confidence because they're not the most naturally confident dogs. Let's go! Another thing with fair hounds is that they have their own way of showing affection. At least Malik does. He is not always the most uh, affectionate guy. Uh, he's not the cuddliest. But they do stuff like come with their toys, sit on your lap and silly stuff like that. Uh, he wants to show his toys to you. He wants you to engage with him. He follows you everywhere. So they don't have this usual affection of like cuddles or petting, but rather like a more silly way of doing it, which I really appreciate. And I think it's really, really funny. Malik is really eager to continue, but we've been out for like an hour, so I'm thinking we should go back. But I bet he would love to stay. He's a city dog, but I mean, a dog always loves the woods, don't they? Malik! Good boy, Andy. So by that, we're saying bye for today uh, from this lovely woods we've been in. I, ha I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit more about fair hounds and Malik's personality. If you're thinking of getting a fair hound, it could be interesting for you to know how they act and like what is the silly traits, what is the annoying traits, because there definitely is some annoying traits to them, but also some really funny and amazing ones. So I hope this gives you an insight if you're thinking about having a fair hound. They're not for everyone, but if they are for you, you will have a really funny dog at your hands. And here he comes. Hello, Boo Boo. Hello. When he comes, he always gets candy because it's always important to reinforce coming back to you as a good thing. Good boy, honey. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not our usual ones. If you like more of these videos, this kind of content when we do stuff and you see how he act, how he is in action, let me know in the comments below and I will make more. Uh, I know I've been away for a little bit, but that's because uh, I've had a lot of work. And now it's summer and holidays, so I will have more time on my hands. So I will definitely be able to make more videos and more content with Malik. So let me know what kind of content you would like down here. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Yes, they are also eager. Eager dogs. They want a lot of attention, as I said. So we're heading back now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.